Um, let me give you a definition of a subset. Now, here's how we describe this. We say A is a subset of B. This is, a, this is called the subset notation. Okay, I'm just curious, before I give it to you, how many people have actually have know this stuff? How many people have seen this set, uh, set subset information before? I'm willing to bet most of you have not. Is that true? How many people have actually not seen it then? Yes, this is why we're going. You guys know that um, in some way, the expectation is that you've seen it in high school. So a lot of instructors won't even talk about some of this stuff at all. They'll just go to it and use it because they expect, oh, you, you might have seen it in high school. But what happens in high school is, um, you know, a lot of different things. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to just talk about this this morning. And again, in the multimedia files, you guys can refer to some of this to there because I also have it there. Okay? So we say A is a subset of B. Okay, if every item in A is also in B, okay? So this is a definition, but what we're really saying is something like this. If I go to this, let's say, master list. N, capital N. This is the master list. And I take some of the items on this list and create another list. You know what I've just done? I've created a subset. For example, let's say I'm going to use the word, the le I'm sorry, the letter P to describe all the protein. Well, maybe that's not even, they all have some protein. What should we call it then? The meat, good. Capital letter what? M. What's all the meat, whatever that is? What would you guys say? Go back to the master list. What, what's there? Beef, good. What else? Well, isn't fish also on that? Fish, what else? Chicken? Anything else? Nope, that's it. This is an example. Which one's the subset? Is M the subset or is N the subset? We say A is a subset of B if every item in A, every item here, is also in what? This list here. So this is an example of M being a subset of N. And we can sort of do this all day long in the sense that I can say, well, let D be the list of drinks from set N, the master set. What are all the drinks? Well, what is it? What are you going to say? Milk and what? Cranberry juice. Okay, so now D is a what? Subset of M. I'm sorry, N. I'm just thinking personally, I'm thinking if I go to Costco, oh, that's very dangerous. I try to stay, stay away from that store. Why is that? No, I don't actually mess with the samples. You end up leaving with a ton of stuff. You can spend five, six hundred dollars at Costco and then have most of it rot. You got to eat it all. Okay? So D is a subset of N. Or D is contained in N. Okay? Note, isn't M and D both sets? Aren't they lists? So can you tell me that or answer the question, what's the cardinality of M and what's the cardinality of D? How much? What is it? 3, 4, capital letter M, Y. 1, 2, 3. What about this set here? 1, 2. Okay. Okay, you guys okay with that? Okay, 
Okay, is that easy or is that hard? Is it okay? Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is give you, well, okay, let's, let's sort of start then. We'll start to give you some probability definitions, okay? So this is somewhat of a foundation, not, not the complete foundation, but we can now start to talk about some um, definitions associated with probability before I give you the, the probability definition. Um, all right, let me give you one here. The definition of what's known as an experiment. And this is an experiment in probability. It is simply any process in which an observation is made. Okay? And I think the word observation here I want to I want to point out to people is you can make observations this is sort of a a what it's sort of a vague word in some sense because we can make observations in a lot of different ways is that right we can when you think of observe you actually think of of actually seeing things is that true so when you make an observation it could be based on sight but you can observe things Based on what else? Sound. Can you hear thunder? That would be considered an observation in some sense. Sound, sight, touch, feel. Experience. OK? So observations in probability, they can occur in a lot of different ways. We could be sitting in this room, and guess what? One of the ceiling tiles can fall down and hit you on the head. And that could be considered an observation, because why? There was some experience. Maybe you felt it hit you, but OK. All right, this is the definition of an experiment. The definition now of uh, sample space. And the sample space is designated by a capital letter S. Definition of sample space S. That is the list of all possible outcomes associated with an experiment. Okay, so let's start to give you some examples here. Okay. For example, if you guys toss a coin, we can call this an experiment. Why? What happens when you toss a coin? Oh, you can observe what? The coin landing on head. Oh, 